Welcome to Brightly Storytime. I'm Miss Linda. Today, we're going to help Peter Rabbit find some missing Easter eggs in The Great Big Easter Egg Hunt, which is inspired by Beatrix Potter's most classic story. It was the day of the Easter picnic, and the rabbits were very excited. They were all busy getting ready. Well, almost all of them. Mrs. Rabbit had baked a cake, and Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail had spent the morning decorating Easter eggs for their friends. But Peter was too excited to sit still. He had been bouncing around the burrow and getting in the way. That's quite enough, Peter, said Mrs. Rabbit. Off you hop. Mrs. Rabbit sent Peter outside to put the Easter eggs on the picnic table. There were carrots and radishes, fresh lemonade, and strawberry jelly. Everything looked and smelled delicious. Peter set the basket carefully on the table. Before he hopped off to play, he couldn't resist a closer look. Peter counted eight eggs. But which was for him? Jemima Puddle Duck. Eat me at Easter. Peter. Mr. Jeremy Fisher. Careful. Suddenly, the chair he was standing on began to wobble. Then it rocked. And then one side tipped up sending Peter and the eggs high into the air. Tom Kitten, Benjamin Bunny. Mrs. Tiggywinkle, Mr. Jeremy Fisher. Mrs. Rabbit, Squirrel Nutkin, Jemima Puddle Duck, Peter. Peter landed on the grass in a heap with the basket on his head. He knew he was going to be in such trouble and things were about to get even worse. Peter's eyes widened as he watched the eggs tumble down the hill. Peter raced after them, but they were rolling too quickly and soon completely disappeared out of sight. Where could they be? A tasty treat. Squeak, squeak. Peter would have to go on an Easter egg hunt to find them. He began to look in the meadow. Perhaps one was hidden in the tall grass. Yes, here's an egg for Jemima Puddle Duck. Peter popped the orange stripy egg in his basket and looked around the countryside. Where to next, he wondered. As he gazed across the meadow, Peter spotted Mrs. Tiggywinkle's home. The door was wide open, and Peter could see laundry drying on the line. Had one rolled into the house? Peter decided it couldn't hurt to have a little look. Hello, Mrs. Tiggywinkle smiled as she greeted Peter at the door. Come and have a cup of tea. While the hedgehog bustled about, Peter hunted for another egg. Tweet, tweet. He looked in the cupboards, under the table, and even behind the curtains. Mmm. Peter was just about to give up when he saw two oval shapes. That's one egg for Mr. Jeremy Fisher and one for Benjamin. Feeling rather pleased at having found three eggs already, Peter set off once more, after a cup of tea, of course. At Ginger and Pickle's shop, he was distracted by the sight of Pickles putting up decorations in the window. What's he doing? He asked Tom Kitten, who was walking by. It's the Easter display. Pickles wants it to be bigger and better than last year, laughed Tom. What are you doing here? I've just been buying currant buns for the picnic. 
the picnic, the eggs. Peter really must get on with his hunt. He waved goodbye to Tom Kitten and hopped into the shop. Perhaps one egg rolled in here when Tom Kitten opened the door. Hello, Peter, said Ginger. How can I help? Oh, I'm just having a look, muttered Peter quietly. What to nibble on next? Cheese! Peter searched the shelves, keeping his eyes peeled. Soon he found not one, not two, but three eggs. Some more eggs. It was nearly time for the picnic. Peter had to hurry and find the rest of the eggs. As he passed the pond, Peter had a terrible thought. What if an egg rolled into the water? He gasped in alarm. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, Peter wailed. Will you help me look, Mr. Fisher? Don't worry. I haven't heard any splashes for a while. If anything rolled this way, it probably got caught in the reeds, said the frog. I hope I don't fall in. Fly away home. The pair looked all around the pond and found one egg, only slightly damp. It's lucky eggs float. Peter counted the eggs in the basket. But wait, he hadn't found his own egg. There was a sinking feeling in his tummy as Peter hopped back home to the picnic. The afternoon sun was shining down on the friends as they enjoyed their picnic. Everyone was feasting on currant buns and Easter cake and drinking cool lemonade while admiring their beautiful Easter eggs. Peter sloped off quietly. He was feeling left out and wanted to be alone. Beneath the picnic table was the perfect spot for a bunny to hide. Where's my egg? Munch, crunch. Except he was not alone. Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail were there, grinning from ear to ear. In their arms was something blue and spotty. Peter's egg. Happy Easter to the best big brother in the world, the triplets shouted. Happy Easter to the best sisters in the world, laughed Peter. I'm so glad Peter Rabbit could find all the eggs. What sort of egg would you give your loved ones? I think a super colorful egg would be great. Come back to read more stories together anytime you'd like, or find more books to read yourself at readbrightly.com. Bye.